Welcome to week 14. How exciting. This week we are working on taking notes in a really powerful way that allows you to look up the information later on. Let's take a look at this. So here we are in one of the class folders and I'm going to click on how to take notes from YouTube video resources. And let me zoom in here. Um, you have an overview video on how to do the process. So please watch that if this doesn't make sense. But essentially what we're trying to do is create renewable resources for ourselves in the future. So here's what Nia had done after watching a 50 minute tutorial on a component of Unity, which is a very complex game engine, Nia had written notes about where the components inside the video are so that when he needed to look this up later, he could come back to his blog and search. Now all of our blogs are searchable. There's a search feature and any word that we type in our blog is searchable. And so we can create resources for ourselves that we can look up later on. And what happens is if I were to click on creating game object, what it does, it takes me to. And I could click create and I could choose, um, oh, I'm sorry, never mind. So this is where the game objects component is. So that's how that works. And um, so we make links back to the timestamp inside the video. And again, the video tutorial is here, so I won't go over that now because you know how to do that. Let's go back to our folder. In the film classes, we're also watching a documentary called The Story of Film, and we're taking notes, and we're doing that a very specific way as well. So the theme this week is gathering information, making meaning with the information, putting stuff into a blog post uh, so that the notes and resources are usable to us. And we don't write any extra words that we have to, just words that are going to help us find the information later. Okay? Um, I have some resources at the bottom of each class folder that um, are helpful for the class, whether game design, school of rock or film. And you can click on those. Studio Binder is one of my favorites for the film class. And uh, that's the overview. Thanks for watching.